All right, Sheldon, I have gotten your list of properties and we're going to do a quick review of what's sold and what's not. I see you range everywhere from 60000 on up. Okay, let's start with the first one, 149 West Haven Drive. That one, as you can see, that one's already sold. It was 59, 57.9 is what they were asking for it. And that one sold for 55.9. All right, the next one. This one's uh, Ashley Park, 57,000. It's still available for sale. Three bedroom, two bath. You just need to really, you need to see the area because mostly Ashley Park was an investor property. There's not a lot of owners, if any, living in there. So financing might be an issue. We'll have to find out. That's something we have to check out with Sam. So I hope you've already talked to him so we can go back and have a foundation to work from on that. But that is a good buy. If you can just grab it up, cash is usually better for something like this, but we can see. All right, 105 Ashley Park Drive, another one. Three bedroom, two bath, can't beat it for 57.5. And it is still active. Now, uh, Ashley Park Drive for 58.5, that one is pending sale. That one's already off the market. It's a cash deal, so they've got the right idea to wrap it up. Next, we're looking at 130 West Haven Drive. 60,000 for a 3-2. That one is also a good deal. Again, it just depends on what the financing options would be. Number six on your list, 1033 World Tour Boulevard. Now that one's 78,000, but that's a much more exclusive address and a much more desirable area should you want to rent it out for vacation purposes or even just live in there for yourself. That one's a two by two. It's a good size unit. You are looking at a decent POA at 280 but again this comes back to financing and what it'll do now 119 veranda way 84,000 that one is uh, they're saying it's also a condo townhome but the POA tells me at, at 282 it's going to come in like a condo so again it depends on what your financing options are but that's a great price for any address in Merle's Inlet very desirable area number eight we're looking at an active townhouse also in Merle's Inlet, 85.9. Again, very desirable area. If you can get something there, I would say that that would definitely be something to go with. That one right there is uh, also one that we have a great relationship with as that is one of our listings. This one in Merle's Inlet at Veranda Way, that one's already under contract and that's a sturdy looking con. It's a sturdy contract. It's going to go on its way to close, but you're in the same neighborhood with that. 701 Painted Bunting Drive, also already under contract. 301 Nuthatch Lane, also under contract already. 301 Cold Stream Cove, also under contract. People aren't waiting around. When they find deals like these, they go ahead and get them nowadays. There's, there's no dancing or beating around the bush. They just they go in for the kill and they get the deal. Now this one also in Merle's Inlet another fantastic deal 3-2 uh, your uh, size for the unit it's huge at 1500 square feet and it's got a lower POA than some of the some of the smaller ones and again a Merle's Inlet address it's hard to go wrong and the last one these themselves are great deals okay uh, this is 516 Cottage Oaks Drive it is listed at 159.9. I know when these were built, they had them up for sale for 249. These units are huge, okay? On top of the fact that they are also they're true townhomes because the HOA is to be determined. Basically, they are true townhomes, so they are your HOA if it is determined will be reasonable, probably no more than I wouldn't think it would be more than $100 a month because you own the land under the property. These things are 2,200 heated square feet, around 2,700 total with the garage. They're enormous, and it's a great buy for the money. So you've got a great list picked out here. I just need to get with you. You need to get with Sam ASAP so we can find out what you want to do. I'm going to forward Sam this same information so that he'll be able to tell you by what you're interested in what you can purchase and how easy or how difficult it'll be. I'm looking forward to talking to you tomorrow. We'll meet tomorrow afternoon and we'll put this stuff together and see exactly what we're going to be getting for you. Looking forward to serving you. Thanks, Sheldon. Have a good night.